supplements are the real deal. Supplements can be really important, particularly uh, for people who have difficulty getting a lot of some nutrients or their foods. This is Dr. William Lee. He is a globally renowned physician, scientist, and author dedicated to the power of food and supplements in disease prevention. As the founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation, Dr. Lee's research, featured in over 100 scientific and medical journals, has transformed our understanding of diet and health. Trusted by millions, he has appeared on TED Talks, CNN, and The Dr. Oz Show. Today, drawing from his extensive research, we will present the top supplements that can significantly enhance your health. Stay tuned until the end, because Dr. Lee's favorite supplement will surprise you. Number one, vitamin D. Well, another example of a supplement I think is really worth, worth taking um, is probably vitamin D3, yeah. okay? Vitamin D, uh, you know, for, for those of us who live in the Northern Hemisphere, where we don't have as much sun uh, all the time, all year round, and where it's cold, so we're indoors a lot and not always outdoors under the sunshine. So I'm not talking Costa del Sol. I'm not talking about South Africa, you know, or Australia. I'm talking about, you know, England, Northern Europe, North America, you know, and sort of the Northeastern side. Okay. We don't get as much sunlight. And even if we do go outside, because it's cold, we wear a lot of clothes. And so our skin tends to be covered up. And so vitamin D is made by our skin when sunlight actually hits it. And so we don't, we tend to be vitamin D deficient. Uh, and we found by the way, during the pandemic that people who were, who got sick faster earlier on in the beginning of the pandemic, many of them were uh, short on their vitamin D. Vitamin D is vital for calcium absorption, essential for strong bones and preventing osteoporosis. It boosts immune function, potentially reducing infections and autoimmune diseases, and aids in mood regulation, possibly lowering depression risk. Primarily synthesized in the skin via sunlight or UVB rays, it can also be obtained from dietary sources like fatty fish, egg yolks, and fortified foods, such as milk and cereal. Uh, uh, by the way, I don't know if this is a little, little tip, a tidbit for you. I just told you that human skin with ultraviolet radiation from the sun will make more vitamin D. But did you know that if you took just a plain old lowly white button mushroom that contains some vitamin D, if you were to, um, before you eat it, when you buy it, if you slice it, like slice it pretty thinly and you lay the, the slices out and you put it in your windowsill so your sun, the sun shines on the slice, it will make more vitamin D. Wow. You want to you actually convert more vitamin D into the, into the mushroom. So if you're going to prepare something with mushrooms, sl slice them ahead of time stick them in front of a sunny window, no matter what time of the year it is, you know, um, maybe a couple hours before you um, cook with it and the mushrooms will actually give you more vitamin D. But it's, it's, not, it's a lot easier to get your regular dose of daily vitamin D um, by actually just having D3 supplement. Number two, omega-3 fatty acids. I think omega-3 fatty acids are a great supplement if you get a high quality omega-3. Not everybody eats oily fish you know, day in, you know, two to three times a week, you know, you only need to eat um, the amount in each serving with the size of a deck of playing cards. So you don't need to eat very much, but you know, that's not something people, most people do. People who live on the, on the coastline, they might be doing it, but many people don't. Um, so omega-3s are so important to our health. I mean, this has been shown time and time and again. Omega-3 fatty acids benefit heart health by lowering triglycerides and blood pressure. They enhance brain function at all life stages and have anti-inflammatory properties, which can reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and arthritis. Uh, for me, um, getting omega-3 supplements helps me top off uh, on, uh, on that and without having the mercury and heavy metals from seafood. Omega-3 fatty acids are commonly found in fatty fish, like salmon and mackerel, as well as plant sources such as flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. Um, but if you eat a if you eat a a, a fish uh, oil supplement, omega three supplement, you know you actually just get the the whole deal shebang uh, that that you can to top off. Now, there was a study that was published last year that was a, a, a real eye opener, um, looking at um, levels of blood levels of omega threes because you can find the blood you can find a fingerprint of how much omega threes in your blood in your red blood cell. Okay, your blood red blood cell is what makes your blood red. And it was a study of like several thousand people, and they found that those people who had the highest levels of omega-3 fatty acids lived longer, about five years longer, compared to people who had low levels of omega-3s. Now, in those cases, the, the, the omega-3s are mostly coming from eating fish. 
But here's the crazy thing. That improvement of five-year survival by just eating, having omega-3 fatty acids was cited in this study as equivalent to the benefit of a smoker quitting smoking. So if you're a heavy smoker and you quit smoking, you'll gain five years of life almost immediately if you quit. All right. And here's the thing where you can eat something and gain benefit in life as well. Many supplements often contain fish oil, krill oil, or algae oil. That's a supplement that's that's definitely worth taking. And, and, and it's a lot easier to swallow um, omega-3s than it is to actually to go to your fishmonger and then to look at what the catch of the day is. Before we unveil Dr. William Lee's top picks for supplements, let's first highlight some impressive contenders. Another standout supplement is magnesium. Magnesium is crucial for over 300 biochemical reactions in the body. It supports energy production, muscle function, and nerve transmission, while also aiding in blood pressure regulation and potentially reducing migraine frequency. This essential mineral affects neurotransmitter levels to enhance mood and is plentiful in whole grains, nuts, seeds, leafy grains, and legumes. Magnesium supplements come in forms like citrate and glycinate, catering to specific health needs or deficiencies. Dr. Lee also recommends turmeric. So this is an interesting thing. We, most of us have heard that turmeric, which is a kind of a, a root, um, when you cut it open, it's this bright, beautiful, bright orange, a lovely color. And, and turmeric is also a dried spice used in Southeast Asian cuisine, uh, including Indian cuisine is where I first became acquainted with it. It um, uh, not only makes food beautiful, it actually makes food delicious. It's got a quite a, a lovely taste to it. It's a, it's a spice. Inside uh, turmeric is curcumin. Curcumin is one of those natural chemicals, kind of like lycopene. It's one of those mother nature's treasure chests, mother nature's pharmacy with an F, not a PH. Turmeric, especially its active compound curcumin, has powerful anti-inflammatory properties that may alleviate inflammation and conditions such as arthritis. Additionally, it functions as a robust antioxidant, shielding cells from free radical damage, promoting joint health, and potentially contributing to the prevention of chronic illnesses, such as heart disease and cancer. And the, 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 the curcumin has a lot of properties, anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant, it cuts off the blood supply feeding cancers. Um, it uh, uh, actually is helpful for your stem cells as well. It's, it really activates almost all of your body's health defenses and it's good for your gut microbiome. So why not just you know, enjoy turmeric as a spice by itself? Because it's so potent that our body actually doesn't absorb everything that it could. In fact, our body kind of, uh, it kind of gets, a lot of it gets flushed out, you know, uh, at the tail end. And so what we want to do to improve our body's extraction of the good, um, the good stuff, the, the turmeric, it turns out that if you have fresh cracked black pepper, all right, there's a substance in fresh cracked black pepper called piperine. Yeah. Piperine is one of mother nature's um, uh, again, you know, these remarkable chemicals that actually uh, in influences the body. And piperine helps the body hang on to the curcumin. So if you have fresh cracked black pepper with your turmeric, uh, you, you're actually creating a one-two punch that allows you to absorb more of the curcumin. Curcumin supplements frequently include black pepper extract, piperine, to improve absorption. If you're enjoying this valuable information, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest health tips and expert advice. Join our community today and embark on your journey to better health with us. And now, let's discuss Dr. William Lee's top supplement choice, probiotics. Probiotics are, I, I mean, I take probiotics. I, I, I believe in them. A uh, probiotic um, is really a mix, tends to be a mix of bacteria that we're just adding to the, the good guys that are in our gut. Probiotics promote gut health by balancing beneficial bacteria in the digestive tract, improving digestion, enhancing nutrient absorption, and boosting immune function by fortifying the gut's defenses against pathogens. You know, there's some probiotics that are not just good for your lower gut, the cecum I told you about, but even your mouth. So there's a bacteria called Lactobacillus ruteri. It's the same bacteria, by the way, in, in sourdough bread, used to make sourdough bread. Also found in Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, the original stuff they use in Italy. They use that to actually start the cheese. Turns out that that bacteria in your mouth, so I get a chewable, actually kills the bacteria in your oral mouth microbiome that causes cavities. 
And clinical trials have been done to show that you can actually lower the rate of cavities um, uh, and better gum health by having lecopacillus ruteris. So that's one of the probiotics, for example, that I take. Probiotics come in supplement form, featuring specific strains, such as lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. While these supplements offer significant benefits, it's crucial to clarify common concerns and misconceptions surrounding their use. I want to support and underscore what you just said. You know, the, I, I, you know there's, there's always something valuable to look at the history of things. Supplementation um, did, wasn't developed to be an online internet scam, okay? Supplementation was a really serious effort to improve global nutrition yeah. because, you know, back in even the early 20th century, most of the world was undernourished. That's different than malnutrition. I mean, maybe there was some malnutrition too, but undernutrition and undernourished means that, you know, we were eating food, but we weren't eating enough of the right things at the right time. And so one of the things that supplements were developed for to do is to really fortify, supplement, top off, you know, um, uh, everyone so that everyone could have a more equal chance of being, uh, of filling up, being coming replete with the key micronutrients that we our body needs to actually survive. And so I think it's a mistake to disparage supplements as a category. I mean, this is a theme of what we're talking about today. Yeah. Let's not, you know, let's not throw the baby out of the bathwater. Let's not character assassinate entire categories of things. Let's be, I mean, let's let's be discerning and try to know exactly what we're talking about. There are some dietary supplements that are absolutely valuable. Some that uh, uh, that's research has actually shown, proven to be helpful. And some that are can be life-saving uh, as well. Pregnant moms really need to be taking folate. You know, if you don't have those, um, you'll have neural tube defects in your babies. The, the, the risks go much higher. So you really want to be able to actually take yeah. the evidence. And so this is the other thing I think maybe a useful um, coat hook or hat hook to hang for your listeners is that Supplements are the real deal because they were once designed, originally designed to help the body top off with what it actually needs. But if the marketing, and we're back to marketing now, sounds too good to be true, if the claims sound like they're just magical claims, that's when your um, that's when your spidey sense, your radar needs to go on. That you know maybe maybe there's something not quite. Uh, fully honest about what is being told about this and it's being misrepresented. And so I think that every consumer needs to be able to, I mean, again, this is where I come back to, we all have mobile devices. We can easily search something. When in doubt, look it up, yeah. check it out, and then make your own decision if that, if that fits your, if it fits your comfort zone. It's essential to keep in mind that when used properly and with guidance from a healthcare provider, supplements can safely and effectively complement your diet and target specific health concerns. And uh, so, you know, those are uh, the supplements that I take. By integrating these potent supplements into your daily regimen, you can make substantial strides toward improving your overall health and well-being. Remember, supplements are only part of the equation. Combining them with nutrient-rich foods can amplify their benefits even further. Thank you for watching Better Health. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like it, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest health tips and advice. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching other videos on Dr. Lee here.